Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Sunday, July 15th, 2018, and uh, I did not do a proper intro at the start of my fishing day. I'm actually already at the end of it, about to head on home. Um, the day was, was kind of disjointed. Um, I went out and then I had to stop because it started raining, um, and then I went out again and uh, my plans changed and uh, it, 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 it just, I couldn't have made an intro at the beginning that would have fit anyway. Um, so I'm going to make it now and uh, I'm just going to say that uh, I went around to some local ponds and uh, I just tried to, to put a plan together and uh, just be sure to stay tuned because I will show you why this would have come in mighty handy for me at some point. There we go. You hit that pretty light. Not much fight in him. And he's kind of scrawny. But I ain't going to complain. All right. There we go. Hit it right along this wall here. There we go, fish on. That didn't take long. First pitch in there with the jig. All right. Nice fish. Oh, he flopped right back in there. Not until I get the hook out, buddy. Easy, easy, easy. He just does not want to give up. All right, it's a solid three, three plus. Nice fish. There we go. It just started moving off with it. Didn't even feel him hit it. on that drain pipe. There we go. All right, little guy, maybe a pound, probably a little less. There we go, other fish. All right. Oh, there goes the trailer on the jig, but it did its job. There we go. Oh, he doesn't want to give up either. There we go. Nice, nice maybe pound and a half fish, pushing two pounds. All right. Now, Gotta go get another trailer. This one's just about had it. There we go. Another fish. Oh! He threw it. That was a big fish. That might have been a four pounder. Ah, oh, that hurts. Whew! Man. Ah. Ah. Up. Back at it. Maybe there's another one in there. My money's on yes. Okay guys, so check it out. There are some carp swirling around underneath this mulberry tree. So I plucked off a mulberry and I put it on this hook 
and I'm going to see if I can't get one. This should be fun if it works. There we go. Gonna have to slide this guy up here. Come on, big guy. Oh! Well. Almost got him. He took that mulberry right off the bottom. Boy, that was fun. <laughs> that was real fun. Let's see if we can do that again. Maybe this time we can actually land him. All right, guys. Well, two things. First of all, I happen to have a rather large net in my car. So I grabbed that to make landing these fish a lot easier. And second, I upgraded to a, a bit of a stouter hook because that last fish actually bent that small size 8 that I was using. Um, so hopefully these two changes will lead to a successfully landed carp. You got it. Ah. The Herculean hook set lands me a friggin' brown bullhead. Ah, oh boy. All right. All right. Back he goes. Well, not what I was after, but it's a fish. Well, once the sun came out, those carp moved out of the shallows and down deep. Um, so I decided that's where I was going to end the day. Um, it was a weird day. It was all over the place. Um, you know, a bunch of different things going on. But uh, you know what? Sometimes that's what fishing is. It throws stuff at you, and you got to make the best of the situation. And I think all things considered, I did that today and uh, wound up having a lot of fun. Curiously enough, sight fishing for carp with mulberries was what I had originally wanted to do today, and that's why I had this giant net with me. Um, but the conditions weren't right at the first spot that I hit, um, so I tried some other stuff, and then I finally made it here, and totally by chance I found that uh, mulberry tree with all those carp under it, and was able to hook one, but couldn't quite land it. I think I misplayed it. Um, you know, I tried to horse it in because I had, you know, bass gear, I had 12 pound test, but, you know, with that little hook I was using, it just bent it and it wouldn't hold and uh, fish just, uh, just took off on me. But, you know what, that's all right. I'll, I'll take that any time, you know, having a, having a 10 plus pound carp on the end of the line for a little while, giving me a nice fight. You know, it's almost secondary whether or not you land it. At least that's my excuse anyway for, for not landing a fish, but... Hey, you, you can make of it whatever you want. But regardless, thank you all so much for joining me today, and I will see you on the next adventure.